Hi, this is Pat with Pat's Two Cents. I just want to share something real short, real quick, because my weeks have been bombarded with different stuff trying to get ready for the graduation. Listen, I had a dream, and I keep putting it off because <laughs> I don't feel like editing a long video, so I'm going to try to keep it real short. Ah, <sighs> Okay, um, I had a dream, and in this dream, there was a lot of flooding going on. I mean, flooding to the point where it was like waist high to shoulder high flooding. And it was in residential, a residential district. So what I wanted to share is there was so much flooding going on everywhere that these guys were in these long boats. And you could tell they were hired to do this. They were sh literally shoving out of the boats these piles of, of little boatlets, what I would call them, because they were small enough to maybe put one person, put your belongings, or put a child in, or two children in. Very small little boatlets, I would call them. And they couldn't have been any longer than maybe four or five feet long, and maybe three feet long. They, they almost looked like they almost look like a wagon you would carry behind you, but they were bigger than that. They were like maybe, maybe big enough for two people to sit back to back, straddling legs and curled up with the legs all bent in. Uh, but these things were literally being tossed, tossed into the water because there was so much flooding, so many people that they did not want to have to get in and out. It would have taken too long. But in order for the people to be able to get away faster, they had to just toss and let the current take the boats to the the different uh, people or survivors, or the people would have to wade through the water and grab the boat for themselves. That's literally how it was doing. They would pick it up together, toss it overboard, and then go forward, pick up another one, toss it overboard. They were tossing them like somebody throwing out uh, garbage. Now, I'm hoping this doesn't happen, but it was really weird because it somehow I could tell that this was something that wasn't far off. It looked like something that was going to happen like right in this period of time. So I don't know if it's going to happen in January, February, March. April. I don't know. And I really hope and pray that God's people get a warning and the kind and merciful ones get a warning so they can get out of Dodge in time without having to deal with it. But I just wanted to share that with you that I did dream about a flood. I feel like I'm, I'm doing all of you a disservice by not sharing it. I'm very bombarded right now, so I'm not trying to neglect my online ministry, but I just feel like I need to share that. And I'm going to send this out. I'm not going to edit it. It's going to be raw, raw. Sorry about that. But at least I did what I know I'm supposed to do. Anyway, y'all pray for me. Uh, pray. Uh, yeah, just pray for me, okay? Because I've been battling a few things and uh, I don't want to say what in case somebody's been praying against me. So anyway, just just pray that that the uh, assignment of the enemy is canceled, cut off, rebuked, driven out in Jesus' name. And pray that the Lord blesses me with a wonderful graduation next weekend. That's all I'm going to say. Love you. Bless you. Thank you.